everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, we're playing more seven days to die. I can't believe yesterday's video worked. It sounds really echoey in the end, doesn't it? Um, I can't believe yesterday's video worked. Um, I recorded using the Logitech software. It was acting really, really strange. Like, you guys noticed it was flickering and then it cut out on me completely for a second. So, there's something not quite set up right there um, in order to, for me to do vlogs. But we'll um, we'll get there eventually. Um, <clears throat> but it worked. I was able to put the video onto Google Drive, and from Google Drive, I was able to um, then take it off at work and then upload it straight to YouTube. So it did the job. The dogs just came in. Hello. Come here. the game that I've played the most um, because a few of you recommended I jump back on this because we're now in Alpha 15. I haven't really been paying attention to this game since Alpha 12, I guess, when we last recorded the series. Um, I've been told it's a new game. Um, the music's changed, the loading screen has changed, I need to do my controls um, because nothing is done. How do I do stuff? No, that's well. That's crouch. That's crouch. That's well. Um, everything's changed. Activate. No, that's more like my reload, isn't it? There is a reload on this, isn't there? Reload. Um, activate. Crouch, right control. Jump, right shift. Um, so this is seven days to die. I'm a little bit excited. Turn so, the volume down a little bit. So we can hear what's going on because I don't even know whether you can hear me or not. Let's just double check that it's set up properly because it has been such a long time since I played this game. So I'm going to turn it down manually. I've never recorded on this PC either, so this is first thing we're ever doing. So I'm going to turn the sound down a little bit. If it is too loud, I'll fix it in later episodes. This is the first thing other than that vlog yesterday I'm recording on my brand new PC. So we're going to give it a whirl. See what it's like. Um, what... Oh my god, they've got character presets now. That's amazing. This is cool. Look at Hank. Hank is just a badass. Jack, Jeff, Mad Mole. That kind of looks like what I'd make JD like if, uh, if this was around. Vince. Oh my god, Vince, that's bravo. Willy. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Need we say any more about Willy? Um, let's go Clint, because Clint looks awesome. Um, survival, Navis gain, why not? Twisted ink, one. Stand options, Nomad, Daylight, let's just leave it all as standard. See how we get on. I'm kind of excited. I hope this works. I clicked start and nothing's happened yet, so... There we go. You can create a stone axe using wood, plant fibers and small stones. Okay! New animation for when you load into the game. The wasteland can be an unforgiving place and you look like you could use some help. Enclosed is a short guide to help you survive. If you complete it, we just might take in a new citizen. The White River Settlement, it's real and it's safe. Good luck, Noah. So this is like, oh, okay. Basic survival is your active quest. 
The quest status is displayed on the objective track. So we've got objectives now. This is crazy. Access your inventory to navigate to the quests menu. Okay. It looks kind of crappy. Like, it, I remember it looking better. Is this just me? Have I not got the settings right? Hmm. Are you dead? Are you a zombie? How do I take stuff now? Do I just do that? That seems like it takes a long time. I think there's a loot all option, isn't there? Isn't there? I think there's a loot all option. Yeah, it does look kind of crappy, doesn't it? Is the is the default options like really bad? Anti-aliasing is not on. Texture quality can be full size. Let's just turn everything really high and see what happens, maybe. Shadows, grass, motion blur, don't like motion blur. Uh, turn all of these things on. Okay, let's see what that does. As I say, first time recording since building this PC. So it's it's untested. We'll see how it how it fares. I guess. Does that look better? It does. It's a little bit, but it does look a lot better, doesn't it? We'll see how it goes. It feels a little bit stuttery. So that's a loot all option. Okay. So I want to gather plant fibers and all kinds of crazy stuff. So I can just bash these and get plant fibers. I want to gather wood. I remember this from one of the other updates. So I want to gather some small stones. My mouse sensitivity is also off the chart, which is going to need fixing. But it's been pretty much six months, really, since I've, I've properly played a game, really. Um, Crystal and I played a little bit of Sims, but other than that, we haven't really done anything. Um, cotton. All the cotton is, is good, really, right? Because you needed to make your first clothes. I'm going to have to turn this back to defaults and we'll figure out the best setup for it at some point because that feels a little bit crazy. It feels a bit sluggish. The graphics have always been a, a point of point of contention with this game. But we'll play it as is for now. Whoa, those trees look terrible. They're the defaults? That's the default setting? Wow. Craft a stone axe. Okay. How do we do that again? Character, skills, crafting. Stone axe. Craft. And then, does it go into my inventory? I get an achievement. Where's my... There's my character. He's naked. I can put that in there now, right? Gather more plant fibers. So I saw something. So we need way more plant fibers. Um, we need to make plant fiber parts and then we need to make ourselves some clothes. Okay. But I am going to get some wood because, you know, why not? Because you always need it. Let's get some plant fibers. It's not that many actually, we need 35. And we'll kind of do it while heading towards this house. There's a bird's nest. Gotta get the bird's nest. Gotta love those feathers. There's a house. That'll do, right? Let's head here. I'm definitely gonna fix the graphics for this at some point because this looks pretty poor right now. Let's get ourselves in this house. Do a bit of quick repair work. Oh, that's cool. So you can turn a broken frame into a okay frame and then that's gonna take ages. Right, so we need to craft some pants. Clothing. 
What do we want? Plant fiber. Gloves. Plant fiber. Hood. Can I just double click on it to craft it? Is that how it works or no? Plant fiber pants. Plant fiber shirt. Plant fiber shoes. Let's get all those crafting. They take some time to do. Where, where, where. That's cool. So you can just do that straight from the inventory now, which is awesome. When are these ones going to be done? There's the shirt. Where? What does it say? Why does it say four? That says six. What does that mean? Radiation, fire, insulation, puncture. Is that like the level? Let's wear that as well. Okay. Why not? So that's closed now. Gather wood and craft a wooden club. This will do for now, right? This is okay. So we want a wooden club, which is our primary weapon, I presume, for now. Uh, so weapons, wooden club, craft. Let's move the border over here. Food over here. Let's give ourselves some room. Wooden club, boom. Small stones, and we're now making a bow and arrow. Okay, so we need another stone. Just one more, by the looks of it. I get the impression that this is going to be like a fairly safe area because it's going to try and do a better job of leading you into the game. Um, I remember when I first started the single player series after playing multiplayer. Um, I did say on the video as well that I'd barely really played the game properly. Um, because when we were doing the, the multiplayer series, um, I would I would basically build all the sets in cheat mode because you know building sets takes a long time as it is anyway. Um, and um, fly around between sets and all that kind of stuff. So the only time we actually really played the game was was when we were recording and when we were recording it was all planned out it was scripted you know zombies were either turned on or off depending on what we needed them to be um what do we want a wooden bow and two arrows um so yeah so playing the game for the first time properly really was was kind of insane um cause i felt like such a noob because i've been playing it such a different way um so we now have a bow and arrow so let's get the bow on our inventory is in does it not take you straight to your inventory when you press that bow and arrow so now we want to make some frames place some frames and upgrade some frames okay so that's just teaching us how to build so that's probably what in building um, a log cabin wood block wooden frame Let's make three of those and then we'll place them and then put them down and upgrade them. And the game is teaching us how to play. I just threw them away, didn't I? Can that still happen? No, it can't still happen. Okay. So where do we want to put these? Let's just fill in these gaps. We might as well, mightn't we? Can I fill in the gaps? No? Okay, so we're going to get rid of this window. That is on the outside, I think. So we should be able to put that frame there. And there, and there. I like the fact that he just kind of lobs it, like, get out of here. And then we'll repair that. Awesome. Starter base. So we're kind of doing that, aren't we? Plant fibers, bedroll, place bedroll, okay. So you can make a bedroll out of plant fibers now. I thought it was um, cotton you needed before. Am I just, am I wrong? Am I thinking about that wrong? I thought it was cotton that you needed to make a bed. It takes quite a long time to make as well. So this is all my stats, my voice. So this is if you're playing on multiplayer, you can see stuff like what my level is and all that kind of stuff. Inventory. 
Our bed is done. Let's drag that. Let's put that down somewhere. Let's just put it there. Okay, good. Looking good. Good in the sack. I'm not going to disclose that. Build a campfire. I could have suspected that would be the next one. Um, can we get small stones from a big rock? Yes, we can. Okay, so we might as well just use this. The axe is going to need repairing. I presume it's going to show me how to do that. Boom. There we go. Just before it runs out. Because then hopefully we'll have a quest to repair it. I think you just need like stone to repair it. Um, campfire. Let's do this. It feels so nice to be back, by the way. Um, thank you guys for being so supportive on the uh, the vlog yesterday. I'm presuming, all being well, this will go out the following day. Let's put that in the corner. There we go. Um, I'm hopefully going to put this up when I get to work tomorrow, so you'll see this tomorrow. Um, I've earned a skill point. Awesome. Spend it by accessing your inventory and navigating to the skills menu. So I briefly saw this uh, in the uh, the last update. It's changed quite a bit by the looks of it. So how do I put a point in? Do I hit buy? First, quick crafting, repair time, archery, armor smithing, athletics. <sighs> okay, interesting wording, guys. Barter. So there's NPCs in this game now. Entity damage, knife guy, decapitator, survivor. Wellness gain, hunger degradation. So let's go for that. Can I buy that? No, I don't have the required skill points for that. So I've, I have got skill points I can spend here. Is this right? This is what the one point is. So I can go for athletics. Yes, it's now two. Okay. Can I buy that? No, because I only had one skill point. Okay, so I've done that. I now want a journey to the settlement. So is that on my map? Yeah, it's there. That's the settlement. So this is now my base. And I want a journey to the settlement, which is that a ways. Which is kind of where we were going anyway, isn't it? If you sprint and stuff, you gain stamina, I think, don't you? Obviously, you burn it initially, but you, uh, that's kind of a cool hill. You kind of level it up, don't you, by using it more, I think. I seem to remember. So there's a settlement here. It's got some spikes outside. Looks like it's geared up. Is that not the settlement? Is this what should have been my house? We can always relocate. Where's the settlement? It's further down here. I think we should probably move to the one with the spikes outside, shouldn't we? That'd save us building some more. God, this looks so different. They've really worked on the terrain, haven't they? This used to be so difficult for them to do. There's a zombie. It's our first kill. Headshots count now, right? Money. Interesting. Guy had money on him. We run faster without our weapon out, which makes sense. Just gonna take everything for now because you never know what we're gonna need. Bridges. Now, have they fixed bridges, guys? Or am I gonna fall to my death here? Because bridges were built so badly. Um, in one of the older versions of the game. That looks cool. 
bridges would collapse when you ran over them because they were structurally too long. Maybe they fixed them. Cool. So you'd walk over a bridge and it would fall apart. Which was sucked for role playing because that would not happen in real life. So we always had to try and avoid bridges uh, over rivers in the game because I wanted some realism, you know, and it's not very realistic that you walk over a bridge and it falls down. So, not ideal. Stamina's gone, so I'll have to wait for that to come back up again. How far is the settlement? There's a pig there. Is that a monkey? Oh no, it's not a monkey, it's the nurse. So it looks like it's slowly, slowly introducing me to zombies. Is she going to see me? No. Now she's seeing me. Okay. The axe is going to break if we do anything. Let's just check. There's nothing else going to sneak up on us. No. Okay. Come on. Wow, you have to be really close now, don't you? Stunned damage bonus. Nice. You do, you get like more damage if you like sprint and hit them as well, I think. I seem to remember that being a thing. You guys probably know more about this game than I do now. I've not played it in six months, if not longer. That looks like the settlement. This road is crazy. That is awesome, by the way. This is going to be so weird to meet other people in the game. I mean, I know I've done that, but they were people that I new and we're playing with but to see npcs in the game it's just kind of crazy be like hey guy you wanna you gonna buy some small stones and an empty can and maybe two bucks i found on some dead guy look at this this is cool can i come in That's cool. I love those double doors. Oh my god, they got vending machines now? Oh. Could have done with those when we were doing the series. What are these things? Trader Joe's. Look at these. These would have made perfect um, slot machines in hectares. God damn it. Empty vending machine. Empty vending machine. Is this where you can put stuff in and you can sell it, maybe? So you can sell your stuff? That's like a workbench, so I can make stuff. That's what, a cement mixer? Oh my god. This game, man. This game. What is this? Coffee? It's coffee. Can I move in here? Like, is this a thing? Can I move in here? Or is this technically like somebody else's grounds? Because this is cool. I don't seem to have an active quest either. Is there anybody in here? Oh my god, there is. Hello, Nubbin. Ah, I've been expecting you. I've got three bucks. I really don't think I'm going to be buying is it his money isn't it right old cash does he take old cash or does he take new cash I already don't know is he a safe secret stash mining helmet heavy bandit leg armor sniper rifle look at the cost for this stuff Christ it's like is there a sell function can I sell stuff if we ain't got what you're looking for we can get it He's got a voice. There's a zombie out there. God, what do you know? This is just... It's kind of blowing my mind a little bit, guys. This is such a different game. Is this a sign? God, imagine having that stuff. Where was Alpha 15 when... Uh, what does that do? When we were doing the series. You know, this is just amazing stuff. Can I? How do I make money? Do I just need to have money to 
to do this. Okay, well I've done that now. So like, what's next? Is there a, I, I look, I look amazing. Where's the quests? What's my current quest? I've done all that. Locate the trader. Quest reward. Locate the trader. I just did that, didn't I? I just located the trader. It's ticked. Right? What is all this stuff? What is that supposed to be? What's my next quest, Trader Joe? Can you tell me? I've been expecting you. Am I supposed to buy something? What's my next quest, dude? Just type it into the old search bar there. For, we can get it. Locate the trader. Done that. Is that it? Is that all the quests for now? 